a recent video, I talked about the mega panel for the ATEM switcher. And I mentioned that we have a number of accessory modules. Today we'll be looking at MKA3, the fader module you can combine into your mega panel frame. And depending on which switcher system you're using, you can choose different configurations and make it control audio. Or in the case of the ATEM switchers, you can control your cameras as well, because cameras are and can be controlled through the ATEM switcher software, which means that we can also do it through the hardware. So that's all the exciting stuff we have for this video, talking about the MKA3 and the various applications you can choose for this accessory module to the mega panel. So um, really what I'm doing right now is running one of the configurations that currently exist for the MKA3. We call it audio and camera control for the ATEM switcher. And the MKA3 is right here. And I want you to also take a look at the ATEM software control right here. So we see now the audio interface of ATEM software control. And on this panel, I have mapped down a few of these audio sources to the faders. So you can see as I'm changing between page one to four and uh, five to eight, and I can even go further, then I am also um, able to address different of these audio channels. Now, as you can see that I'm moving around the faders, the interface is responding accordingly. And we even have VU metering on the VU meters, the LED bars here next to the channels. So that's very useful as well. For the audio section here, we have a menu, then we have a, a few additional buttons. So you will usually find that this is constructed in a way so that with the menu you can choose between something. And a little plot spoiler here is that we are going to look at cameras in just a moment. But obviously we have a paging button. And notice this four-way button allows us to go forth and back between the pages by pressing the left and the right side of the button. We can also usually cycle by pressing the lower edge. In case you don't know it's a four-way button, you just have the cycle function. So that can be pretty useful as well. So that's known from a lot of Skyway configurations already. Let's take a look at what we have down here. When I press balance, mute, uh, audio follow video, I basically change what's happening on the top row of buttons. So if we go to balance, we are now, um, let's, let's take channel number one, look in the software interface here. As I'm turning the knob, you can see that I'm adjusting the balance of the uh, channel one on the ATEM switcher. If I choose mute, you can see that some of these channels are muted, some of them are not. And this is basically uh, done by turning the encoder. Audio follow video is also managed in this way. So I can do the same right there with these functions. So that's how we delegate the functionality of the top button. But one of the real, really cool things is that the delegate button here in the, in the bottom allows me to dynamically reassign which channels are mapped onto the faders. So notice what the display say, says up here. It says audio input number one, two, three, and four. If I change this to two, then basically I now have two channels that both operate channel number two. So maybe not the most useful scenario, but you can see how useful it can be that you can, on your first page, you can map in the exact audio sources that you want. So let's say that I want to have channel seven, I want channel one, I want channel six, and channel number 10. I got it right here by simply delegating using this functionality. And when I go to these other functions, then I can adjust the balance just as I want. So that's very useful. That's the audio part. And it may be extended at the time you are applying this to your MK3, who knows? Because we are sometimes improving these configurations. And in any case, we can also change them, which I'll show you in a moment. But let's just quickly go over to cameras because in the ATEM switches, as a little bit um, of an unusual feature for a video switcher, you can actually control Blackmagic cameras by uh, adjusting parameters here, which are sent out on the program out to your camera chain. And um, with these faders, you can also adjust your camera iris. As you can see from the interface, I am controlling those. The LED bars are now indicating the level. Over here, I delegate what happens on the bottoms up, uh, buttons up here. We have lift, which can also go between Y, red, green, and blue. So luminance, red, green, and blue can be delegated up here. Let's just take lift uh, Y, the luminance. That's basically the master black of your Blackmagic cameras. But if I open the channel, channel number one here, you can see that I can also adjust the, the red value. I'll just do that that quickly here and the green can be adjusted and the blue can be adjusted as well. Now I can do the same for gamma, for gain, the saturation, contrast and so on. And finally the delegate button allows me to also re-delegate the camera control on the um, 
on the switcher here. So that's the um, one of the most popular configurations that you'll find for the MK3. So to highlight my point that I can actually uh, have, um, I can choose other configurations. I have prepared something where we do not only choose a different configuration, namely the one called um, MK3 generic audio control, but I have also added some additional ad ad devices over here. So what I want to show you now is that Reactor can host different projects. So I'm bringing up this dialog and you see I have a ton of projects here because we do a lot of videos and tests and so on. But I'm changing over to this one. I'm activating that. And now you see the panel is disconnecting and you see that we are now reconnecting to two ATEM switches, one on the IP address here and on this one. So I'm actually connected to two ATEM switches right now. And what you see on the panel is that I am controlling uh, simultaneously or, or totally seamlessly to you as the user. You don't know which channels on which ATEM switches I'm currently controlling on my MK3. But that's what um, we'll be looking at right here. So now I've changed over to a different configuration and this one does not control cameras. It controls audio sources on two different devices. In this case, two different ATEM switches, but it could actually be audio mixers. It could be a vMix system even if you want it. So any um, device that has a little configuration snippet for audio channels. Let me show you what it does. Currently I see the master channel of the two ATEM switches on the first page. And if I go to the audio page of the software control here, you can see that I'm adjusting one of the master volumes on these switches. The other switcher, let's just go back to reactor, is on another IP address. So that would require me to change this over. And you'll see that the second fader is adjusting the master volume on that one. Now, if I go to the pages uh, five through eight, then I would adjust audio channels on the switch I just left. But if I go to this page nine to, to, uh, to 12, you'll see that I'm adjusting audio uh, channels in here. So why would I do that? I don't know. Why would you do it? The point is that you have two ATEM switches with audio channels and you can bring them all together on this single panel. And it's even easy because in the device selector right here, if I bring that up, you have a simple table that shows you what each channel is delegated to do. On the first page, we have two channels which are basically turned off to keep all the master volumes on the first page. But then on the next page, which are these four, you can see that I'm adjusting stuff on device index number one. So there's device number one and device number two. So device number one, and I'm adjusting audio channel one, two, three, and four. But if I scroll down, whoops, sorry about that. If I scroll down, you see that the next four channels right here are for device number two. And that's also audio channel one, two, three, and four. And on the very first, we have device index one and device index two. And in both cases, this is the, um, the first audio channel, which is number one. Basically, you can see that the configuration over here is called audio class master. And the other one is called audio class channel. So that, those are configurations that we need to choose to adjust the correct or the um, particular parameter of the uh, audio device that we want to uh, adjust. And often that's a, a question of which bus or which group or which um, master in this case uh, it is that we want to adjust. And just take a quick look at these. This will be a much longer list soon, but we have already prepared a configuration for inputs on an ATEM switcher and the master channel, but also on a vMix we have uh, any of the buses on the vMix can be adjusted in this way. And of course, all the inputs on a vMix system can be adjusted in this way. So this is where you can set up a change to a different configuration just like that. And now you would basically be adjusting things on a vMix system in case that you had a vMix system connected over here. So the main point of saying all this is with the MKA3, you have the flexibility of applying the exact configuration that makes sense to you. If this sits in a mega panel that controls an ATEM switcher, it's pretty likely that you want this to adjust things related to your ATEM switcher. But you have the opportunity to also assign a different configuration to the unit and assign audio channels from wherever in your broadcast infrastructure that you would like to control on that particular day. Before we end this video, let's just take a quick look at how Reactor can give you access to advanced features or not. So actually, all we have been looking at right now is the advanced view of Reactor, and that's managed by this little toggle switch up here. So you see, when we are in the advanced view, we get a little more details, and we see, for instance, a more technical name of the configurations that we can choose from. 
in the standard view, this one, we have more uh, friendly names applied to the various configurations you can choose. So you see those will be very meaningful to most people, clearly indicating that we have a choice between ATEM audio channels, master audio, buses on vMix and so forth. And that's another little feature of Reactor. We are uh, doing a, making a lot of efforts to make this really user-friendly and easy, but at the same time have a lot of power packed just under the surface of this uh, panel management system. Subscribe to our social media channels to stay connected with Skyhoy for all the good news you want to follow. Thanks for watching.